So tell me, what did I miss while I was away? A great big storm. We got uh, three, almost three inches of rain just yesterday and we've had some erosion. Welcome back to our home in the woods. In our last episode, Charles finished the framing for a walkway that goes all the way around our future yurt. Now we are ready to put up the walkway itself, and we decided to build with composite decking that will hopefully last for a very long time. But first, we are applying flashing tape to the treated lumber on top of the frame. We are taping all of the joists and the deck members on the top to make it last longer when we put the Trex decking on top of it. Down here at the cisterns we are trying to turn our sand castle into a mud pie. So you can see that the layer right on the top that I've been working on this morning is the new kind of fill. It's very sticky when it's wet. It's easier to walk on. Walking on top of the cisterns was kind of like walking on a beach until after I finished covering it. But obviously we have some work to do on the sides here, building that up a little more before we come up to the level of the top of each riser those manhole covers will be ground level when we're all done. Another thing that we have left to do is to build this up a little bit higher. This is where those pieces of foam board insulation are covering the pipes and it's got to come up a little bit as well. And this of course will also be filled in. Good morning. We are going to start sawing the composite boards to make the deck today. So we borrowed a saw from a friend and every time we try to turn it on with our solar system it would pop a breaker. And incidentally this worked the same with our friend who has the exact same inverter same solar system as we do. So this saw turns out has a huge inrush current and it will pop breakers. So I ordered a soft starter for it. Very simple. You just plug the saw into the starter and plug the starter into the uh, solar system, just the outlet, and it reduces the inrush current. It takes two seconds for it to spin up to speed and be able to saw with it, but it, it enables it to start and run. Charles uses the chop saw to cut the angle on one side of each deck board before he attaches it to the frame. I'm just cutting the angles on one side and then the other side I put a straight edge and use my skill saw to set the depth at the same depth as the board thickness and cut them off.
Charles had a few false starts on the decking project when rain threatened to soak the power tools. But when I got home from work this week, I found him making steady progress. So tell me, what did I miss while I was away? A great big storm. We got uh, three, almost three inches of rain just yesterday. And we've had some erosion. I was disappointed to see that the rain had carried away some of our hard work above the water tanks but I can hardly explain how exciting it is to be able to walk on the new deck. It is currently the only flat surface on our entire property, with the exception of the floor inside the RV. Then in the morning. Charles has completed the octagon. Let's find out what's the next step. Put a screw in the exact center so I can pull a string line. I'm marking the diameter of the yurt, minus an inch, so it's up underneath, the mark is, and I'm figuring out where I need to fill in so it doesn't show. This frame is an octagon. The yurt is perfectly circular, so it will, the yurt will come out basically to the corner here, but then it comes out farther. So this area right in here is still going to show, so I need to put decking here so it does not show. So I'm marking on the deck where the circle is, so I know how far out I have to come and put decking. Charles used scraps from the pile to fill in the corners. So now all we need are the insulated floor panels to fill that yurt-sized hole in the center. But the manufacturer is short-staffed and we may have to wait a few more weeks before the panels are ready to pick up. In the meantime, we will order up another load of fill and Charles might even start building one wing of the deck. <laughs> 